fractal and ukulele number one. Um, one of two. It's all mahogany, body, neck, and a paduk fingerboard. Bit of rosewood on the head plate. The resonator setup is the one that sold for cigar box type instruments. Hammocks. And hammocks. <laughs> so it's a national type resonator, single cone, sitting in the little sound well, going halfway down the depth of the instrument, coming up to the top. It's got a round bridge and saddle on it. Um, four steel strings. Tune DGBE. One grill on, just for that particular piece of shape rather than two. This one has what I would think would be the standard hard resonator sound, like a banjo type sound with a lot of reverb. Sustain like most of them, but a lot of initial attack. Place in tune because of angle, the bridge saddle back the same way an acoustic guitar would be angled, so it plays in tune under. Uh, zero fret. That's number one. Coming up is number two of two. And this is the partner of that one. The materials are exactly the same. Um, obviously, the colour, this is the natural colour, that one, the stained the dark walnut. But it's the same materials. The resonator setup is different. This is one that you can find on eBay, sold by somebody who calls himself Ragtime Richie on eBay, but his own website is called Arcadia Fon. The resonator is completely different. It's a single cone again, but it doesn't sit down in a well inside the body. It rather sits on a rim on the top of the instrument and then angles itself down inside and comes back up again with the same kind of little round bridge and saddle in the centre but it's a different shape cone and it's a larger cone um, it doesn't come with the metal top cover so this is one I've made and unlike the other one doesn't have the holes in it and take the string ball end so I've fitted a banjo type tailpiece which is handy because it's got slots in it to take the ball end string and you're able to sort of catch the front end of the string to drive it down a little bit near the angle of the bridge just with a little bit of aluminium bent to shape and then covered in rosewood to stop you squashing down on the bridge which you shouldn't do instead of the grill things I've cut these cat's eye openings on the shoulders I like the look of them the construction inside is quite different it's a bit more complex than that one because I was trying to get a different kind of sound out of it, it does sound different. But. It's just kind of, it's a bit more volume, but it's a softer sound.
softer sounds. Probably sounds better with a less aggressive attack than the other one does. It gives you more of a uh, fuller, sweeter sound when you play it a little softer. Again, it plays well with the neck. So. Get it right. Yeah, it tune's really good. Same as the arrow press, so it does help the intonation a bit when you're working on getting the set up. Uh, a little bit of fancy work on the front. The maple binding around the diamonds to match the Thing around. This is the look of a Del Vecchio instrument, which uh, is a Brazilian made resonator instrument. It's kind of mimicking that kind of look to it, more of a wooden look than the National, which is always with chrome and stuff. Their length 20 inches, uh, 512. The necks are a little wider than you might find on some factory made instruments, just sort of give you a bit more room. That's 36 mil. How many frets? As many as you need. <laughs> how many have you put on? How many did you want? 14 to the, to the join, same on the other one, and then another six. The baffles do go so much towards the tone of the instruments. Um, this one is like most of the rest of it, a bit unusual. There's the centre bar which divides the treble and bass units um, with small curved baffles either side of that bar with holes to let the sound go through. We're kind of trying to push it out towards here. When you're playing these things, if you, so you can play with your chord if you tip your head to that side, you hear the bass coming out of here. If you tip your head to that side, you hear the treble coming off the front of the cone. So same for both of them, all the rest of it is like that. I was trying to get the bass to really sort of push out, which I think is something to do with the softer sound I'm getting out of it. The other one is more standard inside. It's got the well, which supports the cone. And ahead of that, it's got a single bar going across Again, the sound holes going through. If you just leave these things wide open inside, they sound a bit weak and unfocused. If you kind of try and strangle them inside, try and force the sound in, into, into corners and try and get it pushed, they do sound better, which is what I've tried to do. Now, no truss rod. Um, it's got a nice thick fingerboard, and a good quality two-piece neck. I'll show the other ones. You can mm -hmm. see on the other one. The way I make necks, I make, I make my two halves. One piece is the headstock section, and there's a join there to go down to the rest of the, the neck. Um, this is so the grain, well, at this point, which is the weak point, is oriented in that direction rather than running straight through which has a tendency to allow you to break there if you snap off that short bit of long grain. It's turned like that, but stronger up the headstock. It won't move as a, as a neck. It's very, very strong.
these ones are actually stainless steel Diderio strings, which are good quality and will last a long time. They don't get dirty and tarnished. Um, we've got bright sounding as well. The guitar strings are the a slightly heavier gauge than most people will put on a, uh, an electric guitar. It's the first four strings of a six string guitar set, the medium gauge. That's a 13, that's a 17, that's a 25, that's a 34, 35. So, a little bit heavier than you find on a Acoustic guitar, which is usually light gauge strings, but this is such a short scale. If you put light gauge strings on, it lessens the work that the cone is being made to do. So with decrease in volume and attack, and they're not hard to play because it is a short scale and the action's low. So you're not having to work hard to get up to on that side of things, and it's making this side of things more efficient. They're both the same one. Both. What tuners? Lamb tuners. I was going to tell you. <laughs> <laughs>